I think there's a real misunderstanding also about AIDS and HIV. HIV is just another virus. It is a more recent mutation of an STD. Nevertheless, it is just a virus. Having HIV does not mean I have AIDS. We have to understand AIDS is not a disease. AIDS is a description. Acquired immune deficiency. Why is there an acquired immune deficiency? Because the immune system is so challenged. People who have AIDS have syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes simplex, herpes progenitalis, herpes zoster, chlamydia, verruca, cytomegalobacteria, cytomegalovirus, tuberculosis, and oftentimes hepatitis. And now I get HIV and now my immune system collapses. It could have collapsed long before you got HIV. This is the problem, is that the immune system just gets completely overburdened with this huge population of pathogens. Homeopathy doesn't really do any good for this because what homeopathy does is it sparks an immune, uh, an immune system response, a very specific immune system response. There's no immune system to respond. Clients like that that I have seen, there was nothing I could do for them that really were completely engulfed in the syndrome. I've had a couple dozen people who had HIV. It's not any harder to get rid of than herpes. Of course, Western medicine doesn't think any of those STDs will go away. And I agree, if you use their medications, they will just suppress them. They will not go away. If you use homeopathy, it will go away, whatever it is. Eventually, it will go away. So I've had numerous clients who uh, tested for HIV, and, well, they don't anymore. I mean, it, it just went away. Just like their herpes went away, or their hepatitis, or all of these other things that Western medicine does not believe will go away. They will, in fact, go away. <laughs>